In this video, I'll be using PowerShell to set home page, new tab page, and enable home button in Google Chrome. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video, and I will leave the URL in the description down below. And one important note that you should know is that this method only works for the computers that are joined to Active Directory or the ones that will be joined in the future, but until then the settings will be inactive. And here you can see the PowerShell snippet that I will be using to configure everything, and it only creates registry entries in Windows registry. For example, the registry entry right here will set the homepage to google.com. This registry entry right here will set the new tab page to DuckDuckGo. And this one right here will be enabling a feature that allows us to have separate pages for homepage and new tab page. And that's because in Google Chrome, the new tab page is the homepage. And the last registry entry is to enable the home button. Anyways, now I'll copy the snippet by clicking on the button right here. And then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have this Windows virtual machine. And this Windows virtual machine is joined to Active Directory, so that means that the settings should work fine. If I open Google Chrome now, you can see that I have this starting page for my home page and also the same for my new tab page. So now let's open the terminal application. Let's run it as administrator. Let me sign in. And let's insert the PowerShell snippet here. I will click enter. It seems that the snippet executed successfully. And for the settings to apply, I need to relaunch Chrome. So I'll close it and reopen it. And this time you can see that the first page is DuckDuckGo. If I open a new tab, it also opens DuckDuckGo. And if I go to my homepage, it opens google.com. And that's it for setting everything up. Now to remove the settings, I will go back to my terminal application. Here I will type regedit. That brings me to the registry editor. I will go to local machine, software, policies, Google, and Chrome. And here we have all the registry entries that the snippet created. So I will select all of them, right click and delete. And now if I close Chrome and reopen it, we get this Google starting page. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.